Originally announced on December 10th, 2018, in celebration of the 25th anniversary of Doom, Sigil is a free megawad for the original Doom created by John Romero. And while the megawad itself is free, there were two limited edition fan boxes created by Limited Run Games that were available to pre-order for two weeks only. The first being that big box for $39.99, and the second was the Beast Box edition, which I picked up for $166. This was set for release in mid-February, but due to a few production issues, it was delayed until April and again until May. And I think this is really cool because it's an official yet unofficial collector's edition for Doom fans. And it's signed by Romero himself. I also believe it's sort of a nod to the id anthology released back in 96. It contains nine new levels which can be played as a single player or in deathmatch and it picks up where the original game left off after episode four and just before Doom 2. You can download it for free from Romero Games which I'll provide a link to in the description. So apparently the number on my card 365 is not associated with Sigil, but refers to a set of trading cards through Limited Run Games. I had to reach out to them to ask exactly what that meant. The, the box itself has some amazing artwork. The number on the box um, that I have, number 232, refers to my position in the queue. So I guess that means I was the 232nd person to purchase Sigil. Included with both editions, whether you got the standard or the beast box, um, you get the collector's box featuring the art of Christopher Lovell. Um, but I do believe the beast box edition does have a larger box. You get a 16 gigabyte floppy disk USB drive that includes the free megawatt data and extras. You get the soundtrack by Buckethead. And I did attempt to email Buckethead to see if I could include any of that music in this video without having to worry about copyrights, but I never did hear back. So I'd rather just play it safe than sorry, and I won't be playing any of that music here. And then you get two stickers. Um, the Beast Box contains a few additional items, including uh, an art print signed by Christopher Lovell. You get a t-shirt, very nice quality. I think they only came in size XL as well. You get a sigil themed coin. And if you notice the, the picture that I showed of uh, the beast box, the coin was shown in a gold color, but the actual coin is just kind of a gray, but it has some really nice weight to it. It's a heavy coin. There's the floppy disk. You get a 24 page booklet for the soundtrack instead of a jewel case with behind the scenes information on the original game and the megawatts development. I'll take a closer look at that in a second. There's a Romero game sticker. and a sigil artwork sticker.
And the crowning piece of the Beast Box Edition is this pewter figurine of John Romero's head on a spike. Now here I'll take a, a closer look at the, uh, the booklet that comes with the soundtrack. It comes with two discs and I'll show the contents of those. And I'll just uh, flip through this booklet here so you can get an idea of what information is inside. So the first disc is just the soundtrack for, for, uh, created by Buckethead. And the second disc, disc contains some behind the scenes information and the megawatt. The floppy disc USB part just kind of flips out on the edge here. And I, I actually popped mine completely off. I don't, I, you can just, I think you're supposed to be able to just swivel it, but it pops off as well. So the contents of the USB are pretty much the same. You get the wad, the mega wad. And there's also the soundtrack, but the soundtrack on the floppy disk is in wave format instead of MP3 for some reason and you also get the behind the scenes footage. Here's a closer look at Romero's head on a spike. Those unfamiliar with what this represents is it was an Easter egg in Doom 2's final map that was only viewable via, with a cheat code. It says something in what sounds like a demonic voice when you enter the last level here. Uh, but if you reverse the audio, it, it says something interesting. And you basically turn on no clipping mode in order to get access to John Romero's head on a spike.
I was able to get in touch with John to ask how many of these beast boxes were sold and whether or not its success will lead to any future collectible boxes or levels and his response was I'm not sure I can give out numbers but Sigil sold really well Limited Run Games was surprised because they'd never sold something like Sigil before a PC game with freely downloadable component I can't say what the games I can't say what the plans are for any future levels now while he isn't willing to give exact numbers and I couldn't get one from Limited Run either, we can tell from John's Instagram that at least 800 were sold of the Beast Box alone. And this is Romero himself streaming the game on Twitch. Overall, I think it's a great, a great collectible to have. Um, I finally got something signed by John Romero in my Doom collection, so I'm really happy with it. Um, thank you to both John Romero and Limited Run Games. Uh, I think it's a great piece. Thanks for watching.